This week on Losers of Initiative. As soon as it drops down, anyone that's not pregnant it gets pregnant. Good God. Don't let it hit you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Actar doesn't. He's not ready for a baby. All right. Okay, so, Nulk and Actar, you guys are standing there looking down uh, over the, the large natural cavern room with the torches along the wall, the very, for the time frame, very advanced torches, um, and letting off an eerie red glow uh, from the firelight, and over the writhing bodies of, of, you know, dozens of women who are mostly naked and sporadically pregnant, obviously, uh, making moans and stuff, and you're like, okay. So, there are two other exits, as I mentioned, uh, on the far end of the room. Just one push one, your way through these here. One, right? on, one on each side. Excuse yeah. me, pardon me. Excuse the, me. the room itself is, is pretty large, you know. Front stroke. <laughs> just, just swimming through the flesh pool. <laughs> Is it a, is it a pit like, down or is it just a room? Well, the 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 hallway that you guys are coming down is is a you know sloping down hallway. Oh, okay. And then as it enters the room, there's a final like little drop off ledge. Not not very you know not very big. Probably like three or four feet. So basically a pool where like uh, it gradually slopes and then it deepen. Okay, yeah. But right as you get to the room. Um, uh, what pools have you been going this is to? Literally Katie Splash pools. Montana. Yeah. Splash. Yes. Yes. Yeah. This is it. <laughs> is there a lazy lazy river? We just Jesus, look. move on. Yes, bro. but it's made of blood. My God, <laughs> this <Perfect>. is Nate's <laughs> chapel. I'll be young forever. Okay, so there you go. Um, yeah, there's no no. You don't see any like guards or anybody. It's just women, and they don't seem to even be paying attention to what's going on around them. I'm not there, but is there a ledge around the outside, or is nope. there? Nope. Okay. Around there, the you know, there are the there are several like stalactites, stalagmites, and then you know some form together to form like a stone pillar, you know, just kind of throughout the room. But uh, just to remind everybody at home and Brad as well, I'm resting right now. Hundred resting. Hundred percent resting right now. So uh, yeah, in an unconscious state. Uh, how else do you rest? Involuntarily resting. Hibernation. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. Yeah. What ritual is this? I don't even know what to say to that. <laughs> <laughs> Either in real or character. <laughs> uh, I think I'm just going to kind of look at him with a confused look. and uh, Use that skill. Don't you have a ritual skill? I do. Well, look at that. <laughs> That's I'm going to try and figure out what kind of ritual. Okay. Oh, why don't this you, may why be. Why don't you I forget roll about some, that. Roll some dice there. Yeah, perfect. See if you recognize what's going on What kind of ritual and ceremony? I need to roll an 11. Wow. Jesus. Did not roll an 11. <laughs> That's 14. All right. So, yeah. The best you can come up with is it's, it, you know, it's obviously foreign to you. you. They're like, I this is some sort of, you know, fertility thing maybe right i have no even comparison to this in my own tribe right so Ab- absolutely yeah. this is yeah. utterly and you have a bad feeling about it as well right but there you go as you do okay so uh looking around i mean beyond this where is like a door that i can go through can i leave this there's, uncomfortable there, zone too right there's the there's no doors there's just open passageways in the natural cavern uh and they are on the opposite end of this large room uh, on either side of the room. The room is you gotcha. know, roughly oval-shaped in a natural cavern. Gotcha. That's You're right. coming in on one of the skinny ends, and the other exits are on the far other end, one on each side. Like fallopian tubes? <laughs> Would there be a way... Would there be a way to get to any of those doors without walking literally through them? Not that you can tell. Um, yeah. Can I just, like, crowd surf? 
Can I just like fall <laughs> just back and just be like, usher me that way. Catch me, baby mamas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. Um, Is there? Are, a, are you, are you going to do I kind of want to interact without interacting. So uh, like throw something down there. See what happens. Oh, see, see what they do? Yeah. I mean, see maybe they're they just, just maul it. Right. Can you see their face? Like, do they look normal? Like they they're not all like undead looking. No, they yeah they they, or, they, you know they, what I'm they look they look normal. Their eyes uh, aren't like red. Se- and several of them have what looks like like painted like the painted men that were outside. Several of them have you know a little bit of that on them. You know, none of them are like head to toe like the guys are. So besides the writhing, there is nothing to well, indicate there's anything different about everybody these. Everybody make a, a visual check, oh, which yeah. is going to be uh, if everybody that's there. Um, <laughs> which is, which is a, a, stan- oh, yeah. a standard IQ check. That check doesn't go against my <laughs> resting. That's. I just want to make that clear. I'm still resting. Seven for me. I needed to 13, 13 for me, and I needed to be 10. Okay. So, Akhtar, you actually noticed that uh, it looks like there was s- maybe some spiders or something in there too. Not very many, and you know you actually had that. you only noticed it from looking at it, looking at the the scene kind of for quite a while. But right. It, it looked like you know when one of the women moved, there was like a spider that kind of you know a pretty decent size you know spider, like a little bit bigger than a softball. Right. That's right. I actually see a spider. Yeah. Okay. But just for a second, then it right. went hidden underneath them. You see spider? What? (laughs) Where? On women. I start looking frantically. (laughs) Because that means nothing to me. Right. Right. As character. Other than it's a big freaking spider. Right. And And I don't appreciate that. In real life or in I start looking extra careful trying to find the spider because I know that this is probably tied to right. destruction of worlds type stuff. So giving it now, you're going to just wait and look specifically for that. Um, yeah, sure enough, after a little bit, you do notice that there are more than one um, pretty large-sized spiders intermingled about with the women, but they're sort of underneath and hiding and moving around. Okay, so knowing that, I most definitely do not want to enter this. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and knowing that just as a spider, I more want to throw something there. To see well, I was going to say, do either of you guys maul. have, like, nature or anything? To see if it's, like, a poisonous spider or anything? I don't know if that's a skill in here. Uh, that would probably be naturalist. Survival, maybe? Uh, not, Tanning? Not so much. No. <laughs> no. Hmm. Okay. That was just a thought I had. I could mimic it. Yeah, mimic sound. a spider. <laughs> <laughs> um... Yeah, I've got nothing like that. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to... I, I feel like you would take the lead here. Yes. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I, I would. I mean, I was... I'm helping you. I think you asked me to come along. Well, who are you talking about? Actually, no. Yeah. That's not right. Actar asked Actar, us to come yeah, along. Yeah, that's right. That's right. But that's right. we're kind of going along with you as Grug and Ove. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got that. I got that. I forgot that fact. <laughs> um... I still think you're going to take the lead. <laughs> yeah, here. no, I, I'm most definitely going to take the lead. Knowing that what the spiders mean more. I mean, a, a distance person like myself, I'm going to go first. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to grab a torch. Okay. Off of the wall. I like that. I'm going to, like, poke. I don't like the, that. The you're going you're gonna to set the <laughs> pregnant what? women on fire. <laughs> I'm not. No, I'm like, I'm trying. What I'm trying to do is, like, have them clear a path. Oh. So that like I so can get the walk. fire close enough to where they move away. Just, I'm not getting, like I'm trying to, like, what, present, what about your weapon? just using your foot to just kind of move them? Nah, the fire is better. Spiders in there, not very many. I mean, you had to look for see. several minutes to see like two or three of them, kind of in the middle of the room area. I don't know. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. I'm, I'm gonna use a, a torch okay. first to see if they like move away from the heat. Not until you actually touch them with the torch. Okay, I'm going to find the oldest lady. <laughs> Holy crap. I, I don't want to burn a child. Well, you're right there. I mean, it's, you don't have a lot of choices. There's like say. three women that are okay, close so enough. Which to of you. the three looks the oldest? Uh, the ugliest. It's hard to tell. They're, you know, they're, they are kind of dirty and 
Which one looks the dirtiest? That one. That one right there. Perfect. On the right? I sure. love it. Okay. Okay, I'm going to touch it. Jeez. Touch, touch the, the woman with the torch. Yep. Okay. Can we say that one more time? Touch the woman with the torch. Good job, Nate. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. You you, <clears throat> you hit her and she kind of goes, yeah! It makes a, it makes a pain noise. Oh, it's not a pleasure? No. <laughs> But like sort of like a, like, you know, like sort of a, a crazy pain noise. I don't know. Come up with you. Like, <laughs> and, she roll, and she rolls over, but then goes back to just sort of writhing and moaning still. Hmm. And so no one else like was like, like it wasn't like a hive mind, like someone hurt this one. And then they else, all get up. Yeah. Kind of thing. No. Okay. That, that's more what I was like. I don't like, oh, know. I don't want to do that. All right. So. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna dip my toes in. I'm gonna <laughs> use my foot and try okay. and like step on the ground right there. Yeah, kick them out of the way and okay. s- not a down. problem. You just kind of slide them with your foot and they just move. You gonna heal the woman you just burned? No, no. Oh. Oh, I was just you know it's not horrible burn. Oh, okay. That means I have to find Second plants. Degree. <laughs> yeah, okay. I gotta find plants and I gotta put aloe vera on or burn. <laughs> like it's right. just okay. it's aloe vera. <laughs> so uh, I'm just gonna continue. Going along that way. Slowly, just kind of moving them side to side with your foot. Yep. Inching your way forward. Okay. Excuse me. Pardon me. Actar, are, uh, you, are you following Nulk? Yeah. Upon seeing that it's not deadly, mm-hmm. I'm going to kind of even get in front of him because we've kind of had this you're better than me, I'm better than you rivalry going, and I feel that I'm going to do that. <laughs> you need to be better than yeah, me. Yeah, I feel like as soon as he, I see that he's man enough to go into this pit, I'm like, well, it seems fine. <laughs> and so, then using my... Knowledge. I'm gonna let him go ahead, but I'm still holding the torch. Okay. Just yeah. in case spiders jump. I'm gonna out. get a little more brazen. Yeah, actor, you have a staff. Right. That you kind of right. Move. More forcefully pushing them without aside. actually touching. Right. Without right. using your foot or your hand or anything. Okay. So yeah, the gl- the going is slow as you're as you're moving them out of the way and and going across the room, uh, still being very observant of what's going on. You don't want to be surprised by anything uh you're about a third of the way through the room about 30 feet i'm gonna i'm gonna roughly say it's probably 100 150 feet to the other side of the room okay Okay. you're uh, i don't know if i had said it was a different distance in the last episode i don't know i don't remember but i don't either regardless you're about a third of the way across the room um and uh from the ceiling you know the natural caverny ceiling the stone ceiling um, you notice that there is some sort of uh, grayish green slimy goo kind of like snot starting to ooze down in several places do I know what this is not a clue okay should I poke it with fire <laughs> Sure. Is it close enough for you to poke with fire? Yeah, I guess that's... Yeah, the ceiling, the ceiling, the ceiling is, the ceiling low, is pretty high. No, it's pretty high. Uh, Even with the one of the snot trails? Right. The, the, yeah, they're, you wait till they get kind of above where you can reach up and hit it with your torch kind of thing? Not like hit it, but kind of get it like. close enough to see if it's flammable. Okay. And then maybe it'll start up. What if it is? Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> then I've, I've just destroyed <laughs> the evil. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, it's coming down, and you, you stick the torch up to it, yep. and it reacts to the torch and goes back up. Yeah, it does. As if it's alive. Correct. Good time to be unconscious, boys. Okay. Don't like that one I'm bit. I'm glad I got this torch, and you don't. Okay. Everybody make an IQ check, an observation IQ check. Greg's just rolling for fun. I made mine. I okay. needed a nine and got a seven. Good job. Thirteen, and I hit thirteen. 12. I mean, 6 and I needed a 10. So you both got it. So as as the all as, of us got it. All three of you got it even though you're not there. All right. So as the stuff was coming down and you did that and you saw it go back, you did notice that within like sort of getting a closer look at this stuff, uh, it looks like there's movement inside independent of the big glob. Just imagine like a big snot glob sort of hanging down from the ceiling. And then when you get a good look at it, it looks like there's movement inside the snot glob. Like smaller individuals or, or a like picture. one one like arm like with No no no, like like lots of little things inside there. Gotcha. Like that even less. 
<laughs> That's, no, that doesn't make it better. Um, when he did touch that, did the women react at all? He actually didn't touch it. He got close, close to, it, to it, and it pulled itself back up. Right. Did any of the women react? No. They're, they're still just uh, making their moany noises writhing around on the ground. So just continue on, and I'll... Uh... Yeah, you're you're leading now, Actar. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I'm I'm a full <laughs> steam ahead, baby. <laughs> Not even moving them out. You're just stepping on pregnant women. Yeah, at this point, I'm just kind of <laughs> stepping wherever there's floor, and if my heel <laughs> happens to land on an ankle, yeah. so yeah. so or be a it. Throat. <laughs> Are you keeping up with him, Nulk? Yeah, yeah, I'll keep up, All and right. then I'm just gonna try and like touch as many. Right, keeping the snot globs from you. Yeah. Does, does it seem like it's trying to... It doesn't seem like it's focusing on you at all. Okay. It's, it's pretty evenly spread Like it was coming down trying to grab him or something. And looking around, actually, you see where it comes down. It actually goes all the way to the, to the women writhing on the floor. And when it touches them, it's sort of like, like, a, like a water droplet hitting the surface of water. It just kind of whoop and absorbs down into the ground. And the, the tendril that was hanging from the ceiling goes back up when the big blob at the end of it disperses onto the women. What is this room you created? Okay. Oh, no, it, it's straight up semen. <laughs> like, they're swimmers. As soon as it drops down, anyone that's not pregnant it gets pregnant. Mm. Good God. Don't let it hit you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actar doesn't. He's not ready for a baby. All right. So, continuing across the room, I need both of you to make a dexterity check. I made mine. I made mine. Okay. So, you nimbly cross the room. Uh, Now, which exit are you making your way for? We're just saying you're crossing the room, so there were two exits, one on the left, one on the right, on the far side of the room. All right. One, two, three. Say it. (laughs) Right. Okay. So, where are you going? Where am I going? One, two, three. Right. Right. Yeah, Kay. teamwork. So, well, you, I was I'm, hoping you guys split. I up. would, I would think intuitively <laughs> right, because it kind of would be arcing back towards you, right? No, I think I'd be more left. But you guys went down, so I'd be below you guys anyways. Yeah, it's, that's and true. it's hard to tell with the me. windy. Right, right. you've right. kind of winded a bit too. So, um, hell of a try though, Cole. Hell of a try. Uh, I just, I wanted just wanted to be right smarter than handed. Nate. <laughs> so you guys are heading for the the right exit, um, and you actually get there, and it is a it is a a another natural passage uh it's about six feet wide passage it's which normally wouldn't be that bad but it it feels sort of uh claustrophobic looking after coming from this big room into a little six foot wide the ceiling itself is only about eight feet up you know it feels sort of confined but and you notice right away that it's got a downward slope further down i don't like that do you want Put it on the list of things I don't like. You want to go left? Check left? Yes. We're going to make our way to the left. Yeah. And see what that one looks like. Okay. So now you can kind of cross along the edge of the room. It's, right. There's not a ledge or anything, but, you know, there's definitely an edge. And you notice that most of the women are, are more toward the middle. There are some on the, you know, just sort of dispen- disperses as it gets further closer to the edge of the room, but they're still... You know, it's just much easier to travel. Yeah, it's like a pile of women in the good. Yeah, kind of, kind of, um, which is Nate's Thursday night dream. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thursday night reality. So you guys cross uh, along the edge of the room over to the other side, the left exit. Um, and when you get there, you look and you see also it is a downward sloping passage. But it is a little bit bigger. It's, it's quite wider. It's probably 10 foot wide passage and about a 12 foot high ceiling. More of a more of a main passage feel in air quotes. Hmm. And and the snot globs, you look back in the room, uh, they're they're actually stopping now. You know, there there's no new ones coming down. They sensed our presence. Male presence. <laughs> well, no, they just sensed that we weren't pregnant. So oh. they're like, I need to pregnant that person right now. <laughs> <laughs> also, also, Nate's Thursday night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, do you want the main road that everyone travels no, on? No, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Usually when you take the less travel, it goes kind of more behind the scenes of whatever's happening. Yeah, we want to be more Frodo and Sam at this point. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to go back right. 
back to the smaller passage that yep. you went to initially. Yeah. All right. So you get there and you start you start your journey down the slope. Um, hearing, uh, acute hearing. Do you, is that what you have there? Acute no? vision. Acute vision. Okay. Um, oh, you you got to apply that to your check when you were looking for spiders. Oh, sweet. Because that's a spot thing. That's a vision thing. No, I didn't even do that. But this is a hearing one. So go ahead and make IQ IQ checks, which is your perception checks, to see if you notice. Made mine? God, no. Okay. Uh, so, Actar, as you're going down the passage, you hear the sound very faintly, uh, as if it's far off, maybe amplified a little bit because of the cavernousness of it. Uh, sounds like rushing water. Like a waterfall sound, similar to the big waterfall outside. Perhaps there's this passage leads to some water with a waterfall or something. Right, right. You hear water? Where? I hear water. I do not. Well, with with some discussion, he you know he says that you hear that and you, you listen actually. No, I'm, I'm focusing more. Okay. Yeah. Now you do hear it as well. I do. <laughs> I kind of just like whisper to myself, no, just so dumb. <laughs> no, no, so dumb. Lead the way. So continue on then? Yeah. All right. So it winds for quite a ways. Um, you, you figure you're probably traveling about a quarter of a mile through windy, and it's continually sloping down. down. It's a good um, chance I won't find you now. And the, the, the room ahead is is obviously lit because there's sort of a you know how like when moonlight hits the surface of water and reflects it's got that sort of shimmery moonlight reflected off water in a cavern that's sort of the light that's coming from up ahead and you know lighting up the end of the hallway as you see it starting to open up probably into a room and the sound of the waterfall is there not a loud rushing heavy big waterfall more like a you know a waterfall from a stream yeah just a little creek sound. Correct. Splashing over rocks yeah, yeah. into water. Okay. Continuing on, uh, are you going to sneak or just do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> just walk and no, just no, chat I'm, I'm with a stick? No, <laughs> no, I'm definitely going to put out my torch now. Okay. And then start stealthing up. Alright, so uh, do you, you both have stealth skill. I need you to make your rolls on those. But I'm better, right? You are. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, like, what are your no- what are your numbers? I am a ten, and I think he's twelve. <laughs> Thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah. All right. So roll your stealth skill or less. Hey, that's a twelve. And your skill is twelve. All right. So success. No, thirteen. Sorry, you I beat it by one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All Sorry. righty. Sorry. What about Actar? Uh, I'm gonna try to be sneaky. It's probably not gonna work. Yeah, I'm gonna Ooh. be sneaky with a seven. All right. Needing a ten. So you both go into stealth mode, put out the torch, I was start moving the quiet. Way. Cole better than Nate. No, I yeah, led. That's it. right. I, he was I, stepping on my I rolled footprints. Lower. I already patted the ground down. <laughs> All right. So sneaking up into the room or to the entrance of the room, it is a large room. Okay, and it's it's a it's basically a dome ceiling with a large hole opening in the top of the dome, that's probably about ten foot in diameter. Okay. Through that, light is coming in, um, and it is, I don't know what time it was when you guys got there, late afternoon, probably, yeah, like 4 yeah. 30, yeah. when you got to the outside camp, so it's, it's already after, you know, the sun has set, and the, the, the moonlight, starlight, whatever, is shining down through this opening, and it's creating that glow reflection off of the water. Uh, the room itself is uh, the, the land, the, the dry part of the room kind of extends about a third of the way into the room, okay? The other two-thirds of the room is filled with water. On the left side of this room, as you're entering it, looking to the left side of the room, coming from the very top of the room, of the wall, is a stream of water falling down into the the pool or pond that fills two-thirds of the room. Um, And on the far wall, sort of to the right, is a stream feeding off, going down into a, you know, probably leading to the big lake outside. But, you know, it is natural caverny stream tube. In the room, okay, um, completely, it's over over the water, and about halfway up the wall, all the way to the ceiling, uh, over the water, so on the far side of the room, is a large spider web. And it's, it's probably, you know, 
50 feet across worth of spider web. And it's about halfway up the wall, all the way to the, the domed ceiling, almost to the opening in the ceiling. Put a little tally next to the things I don't like. Yeah, you're getting pretty full on that page, I think. It's, it's large. Can I light my torch again? Yeah, yeah. Sounds like a good plan. Just throw my torch at it. I feel. Because, I mean, there's there's obviously going to be a spider pleasant. coming down through the hole mm-hmm. if we touch it. You, uh... The only uh, mechanism you have to light your torch is a bow and pallet, which is one of those little a dowel rod with a with your little yeah rolling <laughs> it on that basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that will take time. There's Boy no, Scout style. Yeah, you don't have flint and steel or a tinderbox or anything, which you're used to. So, but there is the the, the light shining from the hole in the ceiling is lighting the room enough. Well, you can see pretty well. Yeah, it's not sight. I yeah, I don't think yeah. it was. Uh, yeah. that, was <laughs> that was not it's the worst. It's more to uh, burn the living crap out of everything that's touching that spider web. They don't see a spider, I don't? Nope. I'm going to get closer to that. So, uh, like I said, the web itself being on the far wall right. and going up to the hole in the ceiling is almost entirely over the water. Okay. Like, if you were to stand on the edge of the water and reach up as high as you could with the torch, you wouldn't touch the f- webs. Roger. Okay, so cancel that. I'm going to I'm gonna start doing the motion, and then, all while being stealth, obviously. I'm <laughs> <laughs> You're sitting there trying to start a fire. Stealth. Uh, the whole time, I'm just like, shh. <laughs> then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop and... I'm going to shoot an arrow. Okay. At the web. Sounds great. Is there a rock nearby? Yes. Cool. I'm going to pick up a rock. Rock on. And then I'm going to back up. Like, if I have, if, like, I'm, I'm assuming I'm still at the, like, entrance of this room. Yes. Like, I didn't move forward or anything. So I'm going to, uh, just try and shoot and make any like movement in the web to see if something comes down to attack it okay kind of a thing so that's my plan and that's actually going to take longer to do that than than actar picking up a rock and just throwing it so i'm gonna do that you pick up a rock and just throw it into the web yep okay and Uh, i'm already aiming so whatever comes down you don't need to make a two hit roll because the web is very large right um you know well over a hundred square foot of web expanding um, a makeshift so web you ceiling. Throw the rock, and the rock is about the size of a baseball. Right. Boom, and it goes into the web and just sticks, just stunk, and kind of vibrates there as it it doesn't fall out of the web, doesn't break through, doesn't break through webbing. So whatever made this is very strong webbing. Right. Spider silk, very strong. Iron web. Okay. And and. Uh, Nulk, you've you've moved back to the entrance. You've knocked your arrow, and you're starting to aim, looking around for movement or anything. Yep. Uh, you don't see anything. So I'm gonna wait another fifteen seconds. Okay. I'm gonna wait as well. Kind of. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna wait, puzzling how my rock didn't make it through yeah. the web. Because what I know of spiders, it's you know, basically a foot stomp. Right. Not really. Rock stuck web. Gotcha. Okay. So 15 seconds goes by, and sort of at the you're you're about, okay, there's obviously nothing. That didn't trigger anything. But right as you're ready to call it quits on that, um, through the opening in the ceiling, uh, the moon is bl- the moonlight coming in is blocked out completely for a moment as the f- fat, bloated body of a large, what looks like black widow spider comes crawling in through the opening. It's probably about the size of a horse. Okay. That's good. Cool. Fair, fair, I like it. Fairly it's, small. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's at uh, least not elephant size. We, we need to make some fright checks. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say I piss myself. So <laughs> yeah, I just no need to roll for all the and that is, actar. That is a standard IQ roll, uh, and I believe Nulk has a bonus. I do, and thank God that I get it, but I still fail miserably. <laughs> no, what'd you roll? I rolled a fifteen or fourteen. Ooh, 
Nope, I still lost. I lost by one. You needed a 13 and you rolled a 14? No, I rolled a... With the plus cool thing, uh-huh. 11, and I needed a 10. Oh, gotcha. I have not failed an IQ roll yet, so I have complete faith in this roll as well. Good God. <laughs> ah, I missed That's it by one. That's your mistake. So yeah. you both missed your fright check by one. To be fair, I missed mine by one, so I even pee myself on the upstairs. Okay, so um, you do not get to act. You're paralyzed in fear for... Uh, until I say you're not. Oh no, what will um, I do? And one of the main reasons it's so terrifying is because in two of the legs, sort of this spider is carrying down into this hole, into this room, you notice the mostly wrapped up body of Coog. <laughs> well, see, that's why I'm not <laughs> scared. Good <laughs> lord. <laughs> yeah, his head is like poking out and he still looks like he's unconscious. But it's, he's kind of wrapped up, and the spider's kind of like got him with some of its legs as it's coming down into the. A very Lord of the Rings. It was. It was yeah. already. Yeah. Imagine. Yeah. It was already busy. That's why the rock didn't disturb it. Right. Yeah. 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 I now also don't enjoy this room. Before I was fine with it, but. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and since you guys don't get to act, uh, basically the with lightning speed, this big, stinky, bloated, gross Black Widow just attaches the cocooned up coog to the web and comes down and lands on the ground just on the shore. Kind of right beside Actar. Okay? Is that so? <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you went in there and threw a rock. Um, yeah. So you guys yeah. get another fright check to come out of your, your, your fear stun, basically. Come on, baby. I made mine. I like it. I beat it. Okay, so, yeah, you kind of come to your senses as, as real, realizing it's fight or flight kind of thing right. as this thing lands on the ground five feet away from you. I'm going to take a vote for flight. All right, so <laughs> we're going to go in, in speed order. So my speed is a six. Mine's a six. You don't get to do anything. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Mine's a but six. I'm there now. 6.25. So you go before. 5.75. And you go after. <laughs> so we've got Nulk. Now, Nulk, you, you have your arrow already knocked. Yep. But you lost your aiming bonus from the fright thing. So you can do a snapshoot this round. Uh, and it's it's larger than, it, you know, it's not moving and it's big. So do they think it could fit in the hallway behind him? It could squeeze through it, yeah. Damn. I'm just, I'm looking. I'm helping you out here, guys. I don't know what to do. No, no, no. I'm, uh, I'm going to shoot at the spider. And as I shoot, I'm going to tell Actar to dive into the water. Because, like, I mean, spiders don't like water. I mean, itsy bitsy spider. <laughs> Come on now. Isn't this a creek? No, it's like a pond. It's like a little stream There's waterfall, a waterfall going, into, left, going kinda, into a pond. Is it? Big enough to dive into. Uh, you don't know how deep it is, right? But it's definitely large enough. Water's better than just getting eaten. And there's an out. Didn't you say there was like an yep. out? Tube? And there's like a little streamlet leading out. There's a there's a water slide out. Is there? Oh, yeah, it's, it's about the size of a water slide <laughs> leading out. Is there an air gap in the tube? Like, is it completely yes. filled yeah, with nope, water, or nope. you could like pop your head up? You in could it. pop your head up. I'm just trying to help you guys here. I don't. All know. right. I so anyway, that. so you're gonna do a a, a snapshot. So you're gonna get plus. Uh, you're going to get plus two for its size, no modifier for its movement. So your base skill is... So my base is 14 pl- with the two. With the two would be 16. Okay. But then you're going to suffer a minus four for, for firing without aiming. Okay, so 12. So, and then what is the snapshot of your bow? Uh, that is a 12 already. So you then ignore the minus four. Okay. So you're back up to a 16 skill. Okay, sweet. Do it's it. It's a big fat spider, easy to hit. Oh yeah, that's an eight. All right, so you just almost a critical. You loose the arrow and it hits the spider. Okay, so where did you hit the spider? This is a two d six roll. Nine. Right in the nine. Ooh, Ooh right in the nine. Ouch. Where in the in the human torso? Uh, yeah, that's also yeah, just kind of in the big fat body of the spider. Okay. So. Go ahead and roll the damage of your shot. That is four. All right, so... And it's a different hit location chart. 
for those of you listening. Correct. The one we posted is just for human, human, or humanoid. humanoids. Yeah. Yep. This is an animal hit location okay. chart. So the arrow just kind of stinks in or sinks in, and and sort of this like spurty greenish goo kind of squirts out as the arrow sinks into it. Just misting us in goo. Uh, just <laughs> Actar. <laughs> All right, um, so Spider, uh, mostly unfazed by the arrow. Sure, is, as you do. Is going to uh, do a little, oh, we got you, uh, do a little bitey, bitey action. Daddy. Gotcha. So it, it kind of does a little leg, front legs on each side of you as it comes down, and you're like, oh, my God. Um, and hits you in the eight. In the eight? Right in the eight. That's the arm. Yep, your right arm. Okay. So it hits you in your right arm, uh, doing three damage. Do you have any I do not. DR in your arm? I don't. Okay, so you take three damage, and now you must immediately make a toxin check. So that is a health minus three. So take whatever your health is, subtract three from it, and that's the number you need to roll or less. Beautiful. Nine. So nine or less. Good night. <laughs> yeah, Fourteen. Okay, so now you take, and now this is not damage to any location. This is just damage from right. from a, from a toxin. You take three damage immediately. Boom. You is dead. that the, not the first damage you've taken this whole yeah. time? Yeah. No, you've been hit before. Not he healed. Over. Oh, that's yeah. true. That's I true. Did. I you got healed my heal in the first right. battle yeah. and healed. That's right. I only got hit for a couple. I think. Yeah, yeah. All right. So now it's your turn, uh, and you actually have a six penalty to any rolls that you would make this round because you took right. six damage. Um, staff in hand and seeing the uh, pure yes. Yeah, you kind of put your right arm up to like enormity oh my God! of the and situation. It, and it yeah, sunk its fangs. I'm in your going arm. to um, opt for a more defensive roll okay. and uh, think about what. My fellow Nolk had yelled to me earlier about diving, possibly to get the hell out of here. Okay. So I'm not going to do anything except for kind of take up a defensive stance okay. and see what happens. So are you going to go all out defense for your next action? Yes. Okay. Because it's going to go before you. Right. Um, so you're just going to go all out defense trying right. to knock this thing's feet. Yeah, I'm going to kind of gauge the situation the and if I can even do anything about this. And then I may just go ahead and take Nolk's advice not liking one bit of it. but What if it kills you next round? He's, risk I'm willing he's, to take. He's going to go all out defense, so hopefully he's going to yeah, knock, knock the stuff away. You're dead. I'll be fine. <laughs> Alright, so let's start with round two. That's you, Nalk. Okay. Now um, you can just keep firing every round without without any penalty. Since uh, correct. So you're just going to, now that we calculated it all out, you see that this big, ginormous, not moving spider that's you know, he's going to eat my friend. He's basically about <laughs> 10 feet away from you, and it's the size of a horse, and it's not even trying to dodge or anything. You just sink arrows into the side of it all day if you want. Okay. I feel like that's what he wants you to do. It is. But that's not what you should do. If only I had flaming arrows. <laughs> um, You'd light me on fire. <laughs> yeah. I was going to ask how much <laughs> fire damage you would take <laughs> as your like, burning corpse falls into the water for a split you know, second. I mean, thanks. At least you thought about it. Hey, I mean, at least you're awake. And then I thought about drowning. Because <laughs> I'm like, what do you... In if it hibernation doesn't burn the mode, webs off of me, so I'm just like tied up into the water. Boy, yeah. you're an awful person. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's why I'm not going to do that. All right. I am actually going to try and aim for one of its... No, I'm going to aim for its head. Okay, so that is actually going to th- greatly plummet your chance to hit because then your snapshot won't be 12. Yep. So you're going to get gonna, the four penalty. It's not focusing on me, so Plus I get a free round. aiming at the head of this thing is going to be a five penalty, so that's a nine penalty to your base skill. Oh, gross. Or you can skip a round, and then your two hit will be, like, way better. I'm going to skip a round. I'm going to take the round aiming. So you're aiming at its head, firing not this round, but next round. Yeah. All right, so... Hello, beastie. (laughs) Big nasty spider. Um, It's going to, once again, try and... It... it, No, no, it did. It has a really high skill. It hit. So now you get to uh, try and parry this attack with your staff. Basically, it's coming in for a bite. It's going to hit you. 
uh, you get a parry. Now, uh, body language only works. Your skill, body language, defensive right, I was skill, gonna, just about to ask. Only works with humanoid, human shape thing. It doesn't work with big critters like this. Of course, so. It does. Yeah. <laughs> you just get your normal parry with your staff, which is eight or less. Eight or less. Yes. Got the eight or less. Nice. Woo. You got the eight exactly. Yes, yes I eight did. Exactly. So, yeah, you, it's coming in to bite you, like, right at your face or whatever. You're like, no! You put it it, it kind of clamps onto your staff for a second, wiggle back and forth, and then it lets go. Right. Realizing it didn't bite you. Right. So. Beautiful. Uh, and since you all out defended, you would have got to roll again. Right. To try and if you pair the first one, so. But the first was a success, so good for you. All right, and now it is round three. You have spent around aiming, um, so you actually do not have the four penalty. Uh, now you get your accuracy modifier of your short bow is, I believe, it's one or is it? Yeah, one. One. So your base skill plus one for the accuracy modifier makes it fifteen. Okay. Its size uh, gives you a plus two. So now you're 17. Okay. Aiming at its head is a five penalty, so now you need a 12 or less. Okay. Come on. Hey, 12 exactly. <laughs> exactly 12. All right. So go ahead and roll your damage. It's not attempting to dodge or anything. I'm going to say no, only two, unfortunately. Two damage? Yep. To its dead. head. Yeah. Okay, so the arrow just hits it right in the head. Tink! And just bounces off. It has some sort of chitinous shell. Maybe if you aim for one of its eyes, you would have better luck. It's got quite a few. <laughs> all right. It does. So it's turn on Actar. Actar, are you going to do a all out defense again? Or? Yeah, upon seeing the arrows flying overhead, I'm going to just act as uh, the distraction. Actually, seeing okay. that I can defend and that I'm really probably going to be useless as an attacker, I'm going to all out defend again. Okay, so you're just kind of rolling around, spinning around, waving yep. your staff back and forth really fast. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Yep. Okay. For now, at least. Uh, and it has a really good skill, so it hit again. Please. So you get two rolls, needing an eight or less if you fail the first one. I got an eight. Made the wow. first one again. <laughs> What can I say? You're a ninja turtle. Just a ninja. Way to go, Donatello. I right. am the shaman now. All right. <laughs> I have become the master. Let's, let's hit round four. All right, Nulk. <laughs> all right. Make your rolls, Nulk. Um, <laughs> get it off, get it off, get it off. Can't be making these rolls all night. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm, I'm going to spend the round aiming. All right. For an eye this time. Right. Of course you are. Okay, it's a little harder to hit it in the eye than just in the he- generic head, So, but worth a shot. Got eight. Literally. Eight targets. <laughs> All right, so it's going to attempt to do its thing again. Oh, ho, ho, ho. almost a crit. Now, on a critical hit, there is you don't get an active defense. Mm. But it missed its critical by one. So it, it, it hits you, so you need an eight or less. Ooh, oh. 14. But all out defense gives you a second roll. Second roll. Don't let me down. Oh. There's a seven. Seven. <laughs> I saw two ones. I couldn't see the third die. <laughs> Woohoo! Wouldn't have mattered. Oh. Appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we're shooting. So uh, basically, you needed a 12 to hit in the head, right? Yep. And an eye shot. Uh, let me look that up on an aminal. Nope. All right, so an eye shot is 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 four worse. Jesus. So you need an eight or less. Eight. Well, he... Actar's done it like three times now. Yeah. yeah. Nah. Would you like yeah. me to roll it for you? <laughs> I, I actually. You want to blow on that? <laughs> yes. Whoa, that's not his dice. Yeah. Whoa. Well, <laughs> hey. Get out of my pants. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. Ah. Oh, wow. That's, that's sorry. Farts. <laughs> per buckets. Yeah. Full of buckets. <laughs> so I got a thirteen. All right, which misses it by five. So you actually missed entirely. Um. Now I need you to roll a two hit, and on a nine or less, you actually hit. Hactar. Nope. No. God, no. He doesn't roll that well. Low. Yeah. That low, I guess. Yeah, I rolled a 17. All right. So it misses. <laughs> Good thing you didn't roll a 17 on your normal two hit. Crit that failed crit the crit fail. fail. Yeah. yeah. All right. So your shot goes kind of above the spider's head, missing everything. All right. Spider time. Yes. <laughs> Still all out Having defense over there. a lot of less faith in my shooting comrade <laughs> now upon seeing two arrows doing uh, nothing. That's a hit. Of course it is. And here comes my defense. 
Oh. That, that's an eight. <laughs> I can't even make this up, folks. That's uh, three, four, and one. Holy cow. Okay. So way to go, Defender Man. You're barely, <laughs> barely hanging in there. Ah, it's going to be close. You, you sure Shit. you want me to uh, continue shooting at this, or you want to start making our way to the water slide? What does, what I'm does actually going to head to Vegas. And <laughs> <laughs> what does a frustrated spider look like? <laughs> yeah, yes. Yeah. Just All right, so let's hit round five or six now. Um, to be fair, Cole, I'm going to have to get the same rolls, but I don't get to roll an active defense. I'm unconscious. He's just going to eat me. <laughs> so. All right. Could be worse. Could back, be. Back to Nulk. Um... I feel like this is uh, this is not going to end well if we continue this. Yeah, pretty futile, one would say. Might. Do you so. want to try and get Coog down? Just D just willy-nilly while we're <laughs> with the spider <laughs> while around? There's a or, yeah. yeah, while there's a horse-sized Black Widow Do spider fighting Do you want to just you? climb that sticky web with the rock stuck in it? Just Should again, willy-nilly? I, I mean, it's going to take me a minute to light a torch. Get your snakes out. <laughs> I stopped seeing the arrows for a split second. I've looked back. My, my, I see Nolk down on the ground <laughs> with like, this stick. And I'm like, it's not oh, working. Here, my <laughs> sweaty palms are just burning. <laughs> 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 wow. Um, so what do we Because this isn't going to work. Not that. I'm so okay Let's with being unconscious right now. think of a different plan besides that. Should we just leave? <laughs> hey, yeah, it's time out, guys. Uh, I feel like if you run back down the hall, though, it's just going to chase you. Oh no, I'm Is it I'm though? going down the water slide. It can fit. You think it's going to stay and defend its web before? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's already got prey. Well, or, I mean, dinner. That could happen. You're in the same boat you're in now, so that's true. Unless it gets some kind of attack of opportunity type thing. Um, I mean, no, I, I'm all for water leave. slide. But uh, I feel Ovec that wouldn't leave Grug. I was no, gonna say I, I feel that's especially the you can't leave. Yeah. yeah. Well, your axe, uh, you have a or a spear, right? Spear. Yep. Your spear does a lot more damage than your arrows, does it not? Uh, one, two more. Which on a D six is a lot. 30, yeah. Thirty three percent. more But guaranteed. you'd have to be close to it. Appreciate that. May uh, <laughs> take a little uh, attention off me. Um. Yeah. And Fine. what's your, what's your no. skill with spear? Is it fourteen? Yeah, it's the same. Fine, I'll pull out my spear and move. Kind of move on up and go. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> okay, well that's your that's your round. Yep. You you throw your bow over your shoulder, pull your spear out over your other shoulder, hold it in your hands and, and move in to fight, uh, ready to jab at the beginning of next round. All right, uh, Actar, you still. We meet again. <laughs> all, all out defending there, Mr. You eight, betcha. Yeah, Mr. I can roll an eight, man. Do I not have to roll you, this time? You you don't get don't to get roll. Don't get to roll? Oh, okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> that is a critical hit. I'm going to roll for my own sanity just right. to see if I still have it. It's been a long time. Critical hit. Are you going to waste hit. it? What about next round? Oh, no, wait. You're dead. may not be a next right. round. <laughs> On the critical hit chart, uh, I rolled, and I rolled normal damage only. Okay, so where did he get you? Right in the 16 in your foot. The 16 <laughs> the in the foot. foot. You were if all anything, out, we've been consistent. Yeah, you're all out defending, and you kicked your foot up to try to block it away, and it grabbed a hold of your foot. Um, actually, what I'm going to say is it doesn't bite your foot. It merely grabs your foot and throws you into the web. It like bite. <laughs> that's, that's worse. Could it just like, bite his foot? Yeah, like, it, like it gum, comes down and grabs your foot with its with its mouth, right. but not piercing you with its fangs. More right. like just kind of grabbing you with its with its mandibles or whatever, and just kind of yerks its head back and over its shoulder, kind of thing, and throws you through the air and into the web, which you are now stuck in. Just like a <sighs> shaman ragdoll. I kind of scream down like, "Hey, yeah. we can't climb this," <laughs> as I'm stuck. Yeah, you're stuck in the web, sort of. Diagonally upside down. Yeah. It's all the okay. blood's going to rush to your head. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> now we're on to a new round. What a way to die. That yeah. leaves Nulk. Nulk, for the moment, its back is to you. So okay. it, it, once again, will not get any sort of defensive roll. Okay. I'm going to back up and take my bow out. <laughs> 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 nah, I'm, I'm going to start. I'm just going to drop my spear and uh, leave. Book it. So you can use two hands on your spear to increase the amount of damage you do. Remember, remember that. Yeah, so I'm gonna uh, gonna try and use two hands. 
kind of stabbing. Like, I'm going to try and, like, work underneath. Kind of like the underside of the, like... Okay, well, since it since it just threw Actar, its its front is sort of raised up. Okay? Oh, gotcha. And so you're kind of behind it. What you can do is just do a step and attack. So you can kind of maneuver to where you're sort of beside it and then come up underneath it, stab it basically in the chest, the spider... Yeah, it, just trying the to get thorax? it. thorax? Uh, yeah, I think so. Like up underneath it into the thorax two-handed spear jab. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so that is a standard aim for the body, which is a no modifier, I believe. Correct. So you're just trying to hit it right in the torso. Bam! Okay, and then a no modifier. Is there anything with this? Just, just your straight standard across. standard skill roll. Okay. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. I rolled a 10, needing a 14. Um, do you want to do a reroll? Because that would be a standard attack. You do have the option to do an all-out attack to do an increased... Uh, two hit chance or uh, two attacks in one round. But you said he had to do a step and attack. Because I moved. Oh, up. that's I right. Never, side. Yep, you're correct. Never so mind. he can do a step and attack and an all attack. So yes, perfect. No, yeah, no, I want to no, do that. No, yeah, no, no. GM approved. <laughs> all right, so you hit it in the thorax. Break. Why'd you do that? So how Sorry, much? How much damage does a two handed spear impaling damage do? I like oh. screwing you over. So one D plus two. Woo. Yeah, it's bananas. Beautiful. All right, piercing in the torso is a double damage modifier. I'm feeling an eight. Anything that gets through its damage resistance, its natural DR. It's going to be a three. Is going to be double. Three. So go ahead and roll one D plus two. One. Oh, oh there it eight. is. That's an eight, baby. Max damage. That's <laughs> 16, Eight folks. damage. And it actually has a two DR shell, which is, that's pretty, pretty hefty. So six damage of that eight got through. And then it's doubled to 12, coupled with the arrow that you've already hit it with. That's right. All right. That's right. Mark that down, Cole. A mental note from upside down in the web. <laughs> it's it's angry enough to right. just flat out kill me now. Uh, no, it flat out dies. <laughs> As you yank the spear out, like a, a, a large amount of that green goo kind of pours out of the open wound you've made. It kind of flumps around for a second and then curls over onto its back right on the shore as its legs curl up around it. Now, is this like a poison goo or is it like a disease? You're going to eat it? Yeah, taste I, it to find I, out. I, I was going to try and like lick my spear and be like, mm, my enemy tastes good. Dip the spear in it. I'm not, I'm not mentally going to. <laughs> wrong with you if you do that. So. <laughs> Serious issues. All right, so yeah, the spider was felled with one mighty blow. Uh, I'm unconscious, but Greg wants to know. Did it seem intelligent? Uh, like, was it moving with, like, a bigger intelligent purpose, or was it just, like, instinctually attacking it's, to defend? It, yeah, you didn't we notice any intelligence to it. I yeah, mean, we don't know. The, the grabbing and throwing him to the web seemed sort of unusual. Yeah. Okay. But, I mean, in your hibernation state, you don't know. Well, I know that. I know I don't know. That's why I say Greg wants to know. Right. Perhaps perhaps sort of middle. Like it's contro she's controlling a, a the spider or a something? A very weak level of intelligence, yeah, maybe? Yeah, I'm just but curious. Okay. Not like intelligent intelligence. Well, I'm just going to lay here, stuck on the web, wrapped up okay. in a cocoon. I'm going to lay there also, not wrapped up, so, but still <laughs> running. Sort of spread eagle, diagonally upside down. Yeah. I'm going to start Tr working on a torch. Pretending to clap. I'm working on a torch. <laughs> Uh, all right, now that my palms aren't sweaty, I'm just going to start trying to burn these guys down. They'll fall into the water. They won't okay, take much Okay, so what damage. is your bow and pallet skill? Because it's pretty humid in this room Could as I well. Could I cut myself down? Uh, you can try. I want to... Let's, let's... Okay, let's, yeah. Let's see what's up with me. Um, 12. You have a bow and, bow and pallet 12? Yep. Okay, so due to the humidity in this room okay. and the lack of supplies to, you know, get it going. A little kindling and stuff like that. You yeah. have a four penalty. Okay. So. I'm going to try. I'm going right. to try. Because, I mean. So what do you need to roll? I missed it. An eight. Okay. So eight or less, 3D. No. Okay, I yeah. rolled a ten. It's just the, 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 the wood here is too wet. There's It's just not working. All right. So let's go over to Actar, who's in the web, and you're struggling trying to get out. Uh, what is your character's strength? Strength is nine. Nine strength. The web strength. All right, so now we're going to roll. Basically, it's a contest of strengths. You roll trying to get nine or less. I roll trying to get the web strength or less. And if you succeed, you have to succeed by more than I succeed by. Roger. You follow me? Yep. All right. 
Alrighty. Uh, 13. So yeah, you, you're you're not making it worse, but you're not getting out at all. You're just right. sort of wiggling. Uh, 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 uh. That's maddeningly frustrating. Makes you feel any better. I can't even attempt that roll, so. Hmm. It does make me feel better, actually, <laughs> okay, matter of fact. Yeah. Alright, so Nulk, so, you, uh, you see you see Actar trying to get out. You're not having any luck with the wet wood. So I'm going to stop. I'm going to pick up my spear, and I'm going to like walk up to the spider and just kind of like Spartan kick it over it's towards... The, it's the size of a horse. Yeah, how yeah. strong do you think you are? Oh, I'm going to Spartan kick it. I'm going to try and kick it so the spider topples over into the water, giving me leverage to help Actar out. Okay. Uh, the kicking of the spider isn't going to do anything. So you're actually going to have to use both hands and strength and slide it into the water. I don't know. I got, I got like giant hamstrings. You sure that doesn't work? It's man does not skin leg day. <laughs> okay, you, you've pulled a hammy. <laughs> <You've been, laughs> oh, <laughs> okay, uh, water slide. Fine, right, I'll with, uh, push with, it over. Yeah, with effort, you you wrangle the spider into the water. And come to find out, the water is only about three feet deep. Perfect. Oh, you yeah, go ahead, dive in it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it would have been good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Unconscious just, just roll. Splash yeah. some water. I'm underwater. You can't <laughs> attack me. <laughs> All right, so, yeah, you slide the spider carcass uh, underneath the web, kind of underneath uh, Actar, uh, and then you use it to kind of climb up. Um, he's not very high. Yeah, um, yeah. So you get to where you can, you can grab his head or shoulders – because he's, like Knees I said, his, his head is pointing mostly down. Yeah, yeah. So you're kind of eye to, you're face to face with him almost. He's a little bit above his Are head. Are going to do like a Spider-Man kiss? I was going to say, it's uh, like a Spider-Man <laughs> <laughs> kiss right there. Wow. <laughs> I'm glad I'm unconscious. <laughs> uh, can I say it again? All right. I so, saved you. <laughs> so you're going you're gonna to grab hold of his sh- both shoulders with both your arms and yank him down. So... Um, yeah, let's see how this goes. So, Nulk's going to roll for a strength check. Uh, Actar, you're going to roll a strength check too. I want you to do yours first, Actar, because if you succeed, you will be able to assist in his roll. Right. Okay? Needing a nine. Rolling a nine. No, rolling a ten. No, nine. Eleven. Yeah. That's an eleven. Two, three, six is eleven. Oh, yeah. yes. Wow. <laughs> Six. I was just adding the six and a three. You're, you're, you're upside, ignoring the two. You're upside down. It's hard. It's, yeah. <laughs> all the blood's going to your head. It's Is that a six or a nine? All right. So, yeah. Actar, you see he's trying to help, but he's not exactly He-Man, so it's not working out so well. Yeah, yeah. So go ahead and roll your strength, um, or less. That's a nine. Okay. Um, that's great, except one small factor kicks in. I put my foot in there. Uh, your character is... Unlucky? Is that correct? Oh, uh, yeah. you're not right. gonna. So you're pulling him, and he's coming off. You're like, I got it, I got it. And right as he comes off, he takes a large area of the web with him that's still stuck to him. The web basically breaks itself apart. Its cohesion fails. Yep. And you bring down, toppling down on you, Actar, and quite a bit of the webbing onto the spider. Okay. So now we're just stuck to the spider. So weekend at spider. Bernie's the so, spider. So you guys are kind of <laughs> stuck to each other and the spider, kind of all like in this big messy blob of spider guts, webbing, and Actar and Nulk. All right, so you guys are tangled up in each other's arms. Aww. Good God, it is going to be Beautiful. a Spider-Man yeah. moment. <laughs> so what do you do? Kind of embarrassing. Yeah, Actar. I'm not pleased about it at all. You feel a hand somewhere where you, there definitely there should shouldn't not be, be a hand. Your upper thigh. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm just trying to grab my knife. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong knife. <laughs> all right. So with that, um, you hear talking coming from the passage you came down from the writhing woman room. You that one. You hear some voices approaching. Male voices approaching. The babies have grown. <laughs> okay. It's an accelerated and you process. Act, and you, yeah, you actually see the flickering of torchlight as, as you know, coming within range in the hallway. Should as, I light a torch? As you look at each other, and we're going to actually find out what you do next week. <laughs> oh, man. Light a torch yeah. Yeah, on uh, the well, spider's body. Well, with I mean, us. What, we are you gonna, would, what are you going to do? I'm fully healed. I'm going to take a little bit of fire out. damage, but I can fall in the puddle and splash around. Yeah. You'd probably die. Are they stuck on the spider? 
A little bit, yeah, not enough. Why don't you guys just jump in the water, lay next to each other? With the spider? Behind the spider's body. Jump in. It's not like we can just, like, oh, I'm going to jump and then dip in. It's not bungee cord status. Yeah, it's not like net. Okay, okay so you're not, right. Right. Yeah, you're not a net. 